All right, guys, if you're watching uh, Vance's daily something for everyday posts and uh, hanging out with him the night before last uh, and checking out his project, got me motivated to kind of introduce myself and show you uh, my toys. Uh, I got a pair of Avid Flyers here, I'll tell you a little bit about them. Uh, the first one here is a Mark IV, which is completed last year. Uh, currently 582 Rotax, 3 to 1 C box, and uh, also running the RK400 clutch kind of cool makes for a uh, different operating procedures this one has a factory build extended speed wing on it so it's the flat bottom airfoil however it was built um, to 30 feet to the uh, the specs of the stole wing uh, custom wide gear on it that was designed by another fellow there's only about five sets of these out there they use bungees like a cub um, almost eight feet wide uh, makes for some great ground handling but it's just as you can tell when you look at this um, obviously there's bigger tires on this one but most of that is made up with this gear, so I'm going to a uh, taller, a little bit, not quite as wide a gear um, here in the near future. Uh, one of the differences to the Mark IV is it has a fiberglass seat pan, sits you down a little bit lower, gives you a little more headroom overall. Um, pretty basic panel in both of these. Um, this one has the Micro Air 760 in it, as well as the transponder. Still rocking my old uh, Garmin 396 GPS, the thing won't die. Uh, reliable, easy to use, so I'm going to keep on using it. Uh, supplement that with the iPad and, and Stratus as well. Uh, this one's got baggage here. Another unique feature on this one is it's got um, polyethylene tanks. There's two in each wing. Uh, these came from uh, Stace Schrader of Ridge Runner, so they hold just over five gallons a piece. So I'm right around 20 gallons usable with this setup. Uh, the two tanks are uh, separate from each other but interconnected. Uh, the Mark IV also has a nice size baggage area in it that the earlier ones didn't have. Um, it also has the rounded rudder, uh, running electric stab trim, custom double tail wheel spring with the uh, Matco 8 inch wide. I'm running the same exact setup on both the airplanes. Got the uh, Whelan LED nav strove combo on this one. All right, moving over to my B model, 582 Bluehead, 70 inch Ivo 2.62 to 1 gearbox, running a uh, kit box aluminum radiator. Uh, this is also a custom tall gear equipped with TK1 Racing, the shocks. Uh, as you can see, these are provide full compression and rebound. They are adjustable, so they're nitrogen charged, filled with oil. Works just like the uh, forks of a dirt bike. Uh, Matco brakes on both. This one does have the uh, intensifier kit in it and uh, also have um, custom brake pedals with the MC4D master cylinders. That made a huge difference getting the geometry right. Um, honestly, I wouldn't want much more brakes than what this one has. It'll almost do full power run up um, holding with the brakes. Uh, handheld Icom A6, uh, electric trim. Uh, both airplanes have the Hackman mixture controller for you two-stroke guys that are going from uh, lower elevations up high at any time. These things are worth their weight in gold. Highly recommend it. So I'm uh, just using a Pilot USA intercom through the, uh, through the uh, ICOM A6. Cheap, really easy setup. It's just um, hardwired to an antenna that's back on the turtle lip. I have the same cargo bag in both of them. These are built by a company out of Eagle, Idaho. Uh, they used to do the upholstery for um, Abbott's and Kit Foxes back in the early 90s when they were back at Caldwell. I'm running a Odyssey PC545 battery behind the seat on both of them. Same exact setup, same tray, same wiring. Coming back, uh, my B model has the Lexan Turtle Deck, which is uh, kind of nice. You can see what's going on, and uh, this one also has a custom baggage area that comes um, all the way back to the antenna here and most of the, the fuselage, so plenty of room in that. This one has 14-gallon tanks on both sides, so um, I've actually flown this airplane from California to Idaho with one fuel stop multiple times. Um, longest leg is four and a half hours, but it'll do uh, five. Uh, antenna there. Same uh, horizontal and elevator and stab trim setup on both. However, the B model has the smaller rectangular rudder. That's one of the easiest ways to tell a earlier model from a Mark IV is the rudder. Again, double tail wheel spring with the Matco, same exact setup on both airplanes. Uh, 
These are the 27 inch Desert tires on the Aero Classics. They're mounted on Kitbox 8 inch rims. Um, these were the Douglas ATV rims that originally came with Kitbox gear. So. All right, guys, and then I got one more thing to show you here. I don't know if any of you guys have ever done any powered parachuting, but I'll tell you what, it's hard to have as much fun as you can on one of these things. Really back to the basics flying. Um, this is a 1999 six shooter SR7 XL. Uh, I'm running an APCO Cruiser 500 square foot chute. Uh, 582 blue head, as you can see, with a B box on it, 2.58. Uh, this one's pretty simple handheld radio, uh, intercom, and an EIS. That's about all you got. You don't need anything else for one of these. In fact, this one's probably got too much on it. But uh, you can see, you're, you're basically, a, the guys call it a flying lawn chair, which I tend to agree with them. Uh, running a power fin prop on this one, so we've got power fin warp and Ivo, and I'm about ready to try out the uh, the Luga prop when I do my 912. Uh, my motor's currently with Hal Stockman uh, getting the big bore kit done and some other work, and this is the rest of the conversion parts.